Hi guys, welcome back to the Simi channel. After a long time, I'm back again to make another video for you guys who love Terraria and want to play with awesome mods. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Terraria at the mod loader for non Steam user. But with this version, I already make a little bit configuration so you can play the mod loader with easier and simple. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button to support the channel and subscribe so you won't miss any feature tutorials and Terraria content. Also, if you ever get stuck, need some help, or just want to chat or even play together with the fellow Terraria fans, feel free to join our Discord server. We have a good community where you can ask a question, share your problems, and stay updated on the latest mods. The link is in the description so you don't miss out. Before we start installing, let's make sure we have everything is ready. To make things easier, I have already combined Terraria and Timor Loader into one package, and it's called Timor Loader by Sim. This will save you time and make the installation more simple. Once the download is complete, open the file, and it should be a zip or RAR file. So we'll need a tool like WinRAR or 7-zip to extract it. After extracting, you will see a folder called Timor Loader by Simi. Inside, you will find everything you need to run the game, like Terraria, Timor Loader, and Bin folder. Make sure you don't delete or move any of this file, especially the Bin folder, because it contains the important launcher for Timor Loader. Even though this version of Timor Loader works without Steam, you still need a Steam installer on your PC. Why? Because Steam is required if you want to download mods from the Steam Workshop. If you don't have a Steam yet, download it from the Steam website and create a free account. This way, you can easily access a thousand of Terraria mods. Before we launching the game, we need to install some important files so everything runs smoothly. These are the Visual C++ Ready Distribute Table and XNA Framework. First, we need to know whether your system is 32-bit or 64-bit. Here's how to check. Open the start menu, type PC info or about your PC, look for the system type. If it says 64-bit, download x64.application. And if not, then choose x86.application. Also, if you are using a 32-bit system, you need to install XMA framework. Just double-click each file and follow the installation step. If you already have them installed, you can skip this part. Alright, now we have everything set up, so that we are ready and let's move on to the installation Timotoder. As you can see in the bind folder, if you click it and inside you will find launcher.application. Double click and it will show up the command prompt and you can press number 1 if you want to run Timotoder and press number 2 if you only want to run the server. Oh, I almost forget to mention, the first time you run Timor Loader, make sure your PC is connected to the internet. This is important because Timor Loader needs to download some necessary file and verify everything is working correctly. Once it's set up, you can play offline, but for the first launch, I suggest an internet connection is required. Also, if you are using a low-end PC, the first installation might take a while. And most people in my Discord server asking me why the installation takes really long, maybe a hour or more, and this is completely normal. The game is setting up essential files, so just be patient and let it finish. 
once everything is set up, the game will launch much faster next time. Now, our demo loader is already launched. Let's download a mod. For this example, we will install one of the most popular mods like Calamity mod. First, make sure you are connected to the internet. Also, you already signed up with the Steam or you won't be able to access the mods. Once inside the game, click on the workshop then select the download mods. Now, in the search bar, type Calamity. You will see multiple results. But the one we are looking for is simply called Calamity. Click on Calamity mode, then hit download by defenses. The mod will start downloading, and maybe sometime the progress will show the zero, and it's normal. And once it's done, go to manage mods and enable it. To make sure everything loads correctly, I suggest you to restart the loader after enabling the mod. Once the game is back up, you are ready to play with Calamity mode. And that's it. You can use the same method to install other mods from the workshop. Whatever it's content expansion, quality of life improvement, or crazy new challenge. Try experimenting with a different mods to exchange your Terraria experience. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and join our Discord server to discuss more Terraria and mods. By the way, I just had my birthday on March 1st, so this video take a little longer to make, but I really appreciate all of you for watching and supporting this channel. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!